Bobby Burke, Palmer High School. Will White, Old Mill Pond Elementary. Jonathan Rezenner, Congress Middle School. Go. Hi, my name is Jack Latin, and I'm an athlete here at Palmer High School. Football, basketball, and baseball. And I would say one of the most important things for me to keep myself at peak performance is meditation. And actually, three years ago, over 14% of people in America actually did meditation. And some of the best things is it relieves your anxiety, your stress, and it helps us reel in our emotions. So, God I, knows Jack found, needs that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can you show us an example of meditation, Bo? <laughs> if I had a better stool, this would look a lot better. Just just do it, Jack. Another thing you could do besides getting outside time is meditation. Um, um, um. What does meditation do, Bo? It puts your mind at a clear, calm, emotional state. It helps strengthen your mental health, and it's just as good as physical exercise. You do this twice a day, 20 minutes recommended. Your brain is a palace. <laughs> Very well said, Bo. Very well said. Thank you. Another topic we researched in this project was consuming fruits and vegetables. If you maintain a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables throughout your life, it can help prevent different types of cancers, type 1 and 2 diabetes, and many variations of heart disease. When you consume the fruits and vegetables, they contain many vitamins such as A, C, E, and elements such as magnesium, zinc, folic acid, and phosphorus, which are very great for your health. Since most fruits and vegetables are low in sugars and fats, they are high in dietary fibers. They can help reduce obesity and main, help you maintain a healthy weight. And cholesterol and blood pressure levels are also going to be maintained. Okay, right. Tell me when you're going. We're going. As much as you don't like your green vegetables or fruits, you gotta eat. It's a good source of vitamin C. Get you energy and do a lot more, like we'll explain in the next. Some healthy fruits that you can consume um, that are quite healthy for your body are apples, pears, citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons, grapefruit, um, berries, strawberries, blueberries, and a variety of melons such as cantaloupe, watermelon. Um, some vegetables that are really good for your health are like the green vegetables, like, you know, your basic peppers and stuff, like your jalapenos and stuff, you know. Um, cabbage, lettuce, root vegetables such as potatoes, yams, and alien vegetables such as onions, garlic, shallots, beets, come on, broccoli. As much as you don't like these green vegetables, they're really rich in antioxidants, and on the cellular level, they do help cell repair. So, after a hard, tiring workout, wouldn't be a bad idea to have some broccoli or some other fruits. We're gonna see how fast Bobby can eat this apple. As many as you know, this is a Macintosh apple. It's like half green, half red, right? They're high in vitamin C and potassium, but you know, for your basic needs, you always wanna eat a banana for potassium. Let's go. <laughs> it's not done. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Gobble that apple, Bobby. Eat an apple. 
Nice job. Keep eating it. Just eat one more bite. Are you yeah. Satisfied? Are you satisfied? That is healthy eating right there. Are you satisfied now? I am satisfied. <laughs> Good job, Donovan. One of the main exercises you want to do is running. It can help build muscle, build your core, can improve your long time cognitive health. So stamina, stamina, stamina. Arms. Don't forget about the stamina. Really. Build stamina, builds muscle, and you'll have more stamina to run farther and faster. And, 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 and. Go get him. <laughs> and there they go. One thing that you can do outside to better your health is play. Play soccer. Yeah. Building that muscle, Jack. <laughs> All you gotta do. <laughs> now we're gonna play the defense against Bo. <laughs> William doesn't. <laughs> Why is he so good? <laughs> William and Bo are racing. Let's see who will win. Oh, we got a good race here, boys. <laughs> Look at his... Oh! And Bo beats William. William is a cross-country runner. He does cross-country every day. And like he said, it's good for his stamina, his lungs... But what are some other facts that you have to tell us about running in general, William? So, running is very beneficial for reasons that I do not know because Bobby did not give me time to open the document that has all our facts on it. Thank you for watching and everyone have a great Actually, day. Actually, we're going to keep on until he opens the document. Okay. So. Health vlog research ideas. <laughs> it's loading as we speak. <laughs> Here, we'll set this up as a webcam. Running can help maintain a healthy weight, improves your immunity by boosting your white blood cells and antibodies, and can give you better sleep by realigning your body clock and boosting serotonin. It also helps your blood flow to brain, which reduces cognitive decline in old age and the risk for dementia. It also builds cardiovascular health and improves muscles. Is that all you gotta say, Will? That is all I have to say. Thank you. William.